popper fishing or surface fishing is one of the most exciting ways of catching uh, a whole variety of sport fish. And using smaller poppers like this for uh, brim, whiting, uh, tailor, salmon, that sort of species. One of the retrieves I really like is uh, to cast the lure out, hold your rod tip up high and then wind in with little jiggles of your rod tip. What's happening there is you're making the lure just pop along the surface, sending out little sprays of water. Uh, in an estuary situation, it's really effective for whiting and brim because they think it's a fleeing prawn. And uh, in the saltwater situations for tailor and salmon, they're just attracted by the fact that something's moving across the surface. The key for whiting uh, on poppers is to just maintain that retrieve. Just keep it coming, coming in on a steady pace. Don't stop it. If you stop it, they'll sort of veer away and, and don't eat it. With brim, however, often if you stop the lure, and then give it a couple of pops, stop it again, they'll hit it when you stop. Uh, whiting are different, they like a constantly moving lure, brim like that sort of stop and pop action. Um, if you're specifically chasing surface fish like tailor or salmon or maybe small tunas, bonitos, that sort of stuff, a bit of a faster retrieve is often really effective. Just belt it out, wind it in, it just looks like a bait fish skimmering across the surface like that and they'll smash it and that's a really visual and exciting fishing. Bigger poppers like this guy here are designed to catch fish like uh, kingfish, GTs, tuna, that sort of species. One of the ways I really like to retrieve these guys is by blooping them. So just say you're fishing, uh, fishing a coral bommie or, or a rocky reef, you belt it out to where it is, let the lure land, let it, let it sit there for a minute. What happens when you let the lure uh, sit there for a second is that the fish become attracted to the sonic vibrations of the lure landing and then Depending on uh, how far away the lure is, you give it a big bloop like that. Again, let it sit for a couple of seconds. Another bloop. Let it sit. Another bloop. What you want to do is get lots of spray and commotion and get that sort of blooping noise in the water. And that attracts fish from a big distance around. Uh, often you'll, uh, you'll get smashed as soon as you stop the retrieve. You do a bloop let the lure sit and then all of a sudden the whole water explodes and you've connected some rampaging uh, GT or kingy. It's really cool stuff blooping.